garden pests. Look at that thing. He was over here. He got over here this rest. If you wanted to know what his droppings look like. I'm looking for those caterpillars because I see the evidence of their being on the plant because of their poop. They are so hard to see because they blend in. It's already like totally depleted this, the leaves on this. That booger. Look at him. He got out of the thing again. He wants up here. When I picked this one off, he like squirted a green stuff out of him. You're not supposed to hurt you. Their little thing on the end of their tail doesn't sting. But um, they turn into a moth. Um, I'm, I'm having trouble finding any more on this plant and I know there has to be. So they're a definite pest in the garden and pretty much the way to eradicate them is pluck them off. You just have to be diligent about looking at your plant. But those are called a tomato hornworm. And one of the ways that I was suggested to get rid of them is with BT. Um, it's a bacteria that is like an acid to their stomach and it, and it, you know, kills them. Something else I learned or read is that nature's predators take care of things. Um, wasps will come along and lay their larva on the caterpillar and um, will bore into the caterpillar and kill it. Um, what I'm going to do is feed them to the chickens. My main concern with that garden pest, the tomato hornworm, is I was seeing evidence on my Seminole pumpkin plant of their presence. I don't want them to wipe out my Seminole pumpkin plant. Here's the one I got growing. You can get rid of those garden pests with um, that BT or pluck them off and squish them. And just be diligent about being in your garden and checking your produce. Oh, looky here. I think I found one. Yep, there he is. And you spray that BT um, three to five times a week, and it's supposed to take care oh, of girls. Watch this.